I'm Bailey Moritz. I'm the program officer for seaweed and shellfish farming at World Wildlife Fund. I became interested in seaweed farming because my family worked in food systems. They were farmers in the Midwest, but I was always interested in the ocean and scuba diving and being by the coast. And so when I learned that you can actually produce food in the ocean, when I visited my first ever seaweed farm, um, I became really excited and have been working on seaweed ever since. Kelp is a type of seaweed or macroalgae, and there are three types of seaweed. There are browns, reds, and greens. And within each of those three categories, there are thousands and thousands of species that take many forms and have many different uses. But within the brown category, we have what are called kelps, which tend to have the biggest blades, they grow the fastest, um, and they do really well in cold water. So they're a wonderful way to produce a lot of seaweed really quickly. A kelp is made up of the blade, which is usually pretty long and wide and is what photosynthesizes and takes in all the sunlight for the seaweed to grow. Then the kelp has a stipe, which is hollow and allows the seaweed to float up and reach the sunlight. And it has a holdfast, which is at the bottom and helps the kelp attach to a rock or on a seaweed farm, attached to the string on that farm so that it stays in place in storms and tough wave conditions. So sugar kelp starts its life out as a small spore that a farmer can release from the reproductive tissue on a blade of kelp. And that spore will swim around in a tank until it's ready to attach to rope that the farmer has in tanks. And it'll grow in those tanks for 30 to 60 days at which point the farmer can transport it out to their farm and the seaweed will grow on ropes um, for three to six months until they're long enough to be harvested and brought back to the processing facility where they're stabilized and all the nutrients are locked in either by freezing, drying, or fermenting the seaweed. World Wildlife Fund is interested in seaweed farming and seeing it expand because of all the many benefits that it can provide both for our oceans as well as for coastal communities. Seaweed farming as it grows takes up excess nutrients from the water, it can capture carbon, it creates habitat for a diverse range of, of important species in the ocean, and it can also combat ocean acidification locally. Seaweed is also a really valuable material to be used in everything from food for humans and livestock, as well as for things like packaging that can offset more carbon intense materials. Seaweed farming is also important for coastal communities as an additional form of, of income on coasts where fishing might be declining. I think we all should care about kelp farming because it offers a lot of hope in a world where there's a lot of difficult problems that we're trying to solve. Everything from climate change to ocean pollution to having sustainable food systems. And seaweed isn't a silver bullet. It's not going to solve all of those problems, but it's a really important tool to work towards a better planet and more sustainable communities.